Welcome Aries and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Tuesday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Oh, two cards. Ask for help breaking free. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the... Ooh, thank you. Love and deep, dive deep. Okay. So Aries, those of you that I'm connecting with, you've definitely got yourself in an entanglement with regards to love. Now, I feel with this dive deep, I feel that you're being guided to dive deep. Either it's because it's a karmic, okay, or you are finally, you've finally gone deep and you have um, healed or come, you're breaking free from past re bad relationships, karmic relationships. And that relationship could be at work. It could be with uh, a, a lover. It could be with friends, family. Uh, I feel that many of you, when it comes to love, okay, you have definitely mastered loving yourself first. And many of you asking for help, either you have been like asking Divine Spirit Universe for clarity, for healing, for guidance to understand why love hasn't really gone your way or why um you know it's hard to find love or why is it you love and it's not reciprocated or it could be a situation that you are in love at the moment um and if there was a, a bit of a derailment um you may have been asking for help as to how to clear it up i feel that you're i almost want to say well done if i'm being honest because whatever it is that you've take on deep in within yourself you have mastered you you you've you've mastered something um either with regards to yourself or actually loving yourself first not always putting somebody and their emotions in front of yours and i feel that many of you as you break free from you know maybe putting others first and putting yourself first for a change, it feels as if you're being guided that you can relax now when it comes to love. Uh, many of you, whoever, you know, there, there could be endings, there could be beginnings. Many of you, there could be new love coming in, um, but you're letting go. I feel whatever it is this deep dive was that had you tangled up and it feels like it's a spiritual entanglement, Aries. Like um, if you've gone through bad relationships Relationships, bad jobs, you know, just a whole heap of, you know, almost kind of like a bit of shadow work, you know, maybe some of you have gone through a period of time where you were just, just like, just things weren't going your way. But for some reason this week, whatever you have been doing with going deep into why, asking for help, many of you it is to do with love. If it's if it's to do with other aspects of your life, uh, you are loving yourself more. You are putting you're putting yourself first now, understanding yourself. What triggers you? What is it you want? What is it you don't want? You are breaking free from what doesn't serve you. And I feel that um, overall, these cards are letting me know that you've done the work. Yeah, you've done the work. Um, you're breaking free from anything that doesn't serve you, particularly when it comes to matters of love. All right. And um, I feel that you can relax now when it comes to love. If there was somebody that felt very detached from you because, you know, maybe you had unhealed um, wounds, they may be slow coming forward, but they're solid. Yeah, they're solid. They may have felt that they had lost you or they just couldn't connect with you. But the work that you've done in yourself is almost as if, gosh, it's almost like I just want to rejoice. It's it's kind of like there's a rejoice now. Um, stability, growth. Many of you, you know, if you, you know, whatever it is you found yourself entanglement at work, maybe you were never 
rewarded accordingly or you were always you know doing stuff and someone else was getting the credit it's like your performance is being recognized you are being recognized yeah and it feels as if in love life work things are just stabilizing because some of you have done the work you've done the work gone deep within yourself and i feel that you're releasing anything that was karmic any kind of karmic debts have been paid any kind of karmic relationships that affected you you've released them you've done the work i would say um continue though Aries you know be open to continue to learn about yourself to learn about energies around you because whatever it is that you're breaking through it feels as if like you've broken spiritual chains generational chains something that had you tied up and it could even be associated with your past life experiences with whoever you're connecting with or karmic debts that you had to pay uh, they're being balanced out yeah they're being balanced out because you've done the work compassion i feel that you're definitely being guided to have compassion to yourself now relax you're ready you're ready for this you're ready to kind of um, enter into love with a very fresh perspective on who you are okay and then we have radical acceptance yeah yeah many of you this feels as if um it was a bit of a like a spiritual that's what i said it's like a spiritual battle and aries you are the warrior of the zodiac signs many of you you may have just got to a point in your life not necessarily this week but possibly at the end of 2022 where you just thought you know what to heck with it. I'm just going to deal with some stuff that I need to deal with. I'm going to fight my way through because many of you radically accepted either there was something within you that was just preventing you, blocking you, um, attracting karmic connections. And many of you just thought, right, okay, I'm going to deal with this. I'm going to absolutely deal with it. And you have, okay, you absolutely have. And yes, beautiful divine wisdom you were blessed whatever you were asking for for clarity honestly aries this feels like spiritual battles that many of you have just fought and won and the divine wisdom whatever it is you took it you took it to a whole different level of asking divine spirit universe for guidance clarity if this is not resonating think about your thoughts um, back end of 2022 what was running through your mind what is it that you wanted to change what is it you were thinking of that is the divine wisdom that you were blessed with because real whether you realize it or not you were asking for help and so now many of you are adapting you're being more flexible with who and what you attract into your life. Many of you may even understand the concept of putting energy barriers around your energy. Yeah, that does not serve you. Not getting involved in things that don't concern you or things that you don't need to get involved in. Adapting your behavior, maybe being a bit more open, transparent, being free, being relaxed because you're not tangled up in, it feels like spiritual weight. Spiritual battles that have weighed you down for a moment or two. Many of you, this could even be something that has gone back years. Some of you, it could even be ancestral or bloodline um, baggage that you was carrying and you didn't even realise you were carrying it. Many of you may not even realise that it had you tied up and it was affecting your relationships. It was affecting your love life. It was affecting your work, your finances, your health, whatever it is, you are breaking free because you've done the work. And I feel that this week is a time, to be honest with you, of celebration, being compassionate to whoever you are involved with, particularly if they have tried to get close to you or tried to be there for you or you know if they if there were have been turmoil moments within the relationship they may have thought that they lost you it's time to apply compassion because whoever you're connecting with on a love front there is love there is love and for all i know this person could have triggered you to do that deep dive yeah um and almost come out fighting like okay let me just take a good hard look at my life 
um, my patterns of behavior, who I am, what is it I want, what is it I don't want. And you guys have done the work, man. You really have. It's so evident for me anyway as a reader from looking at all of these crowning messages. So let, let's jump into your message and see how this is affecting your actual love life. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries... Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Feel towards them in love. Week commencing Tuesday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 15th of January 2023. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Ooh see all right all right my angel thank you Ooh. wow look at that Aries straight off the bat man you're definitely taking the lead um with regards to your life absolutely you've done the work whoever you are connecting with they are absolutely thinking about you and this person is absolutely in love with you they may be recognizing they may have to take the lead now um and come forward or they're recognizing you as a leader recognizing as you as a strong individual um you may have a really good job as well um they see you i feel that they see you as somebody um that is a leader in 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 their own, in your own right and they love that about you with the seven of pentacles i feel that this person is waiting waiting on something uh the two of you have definitely put a lot of time and energy into this connection um maybe they felt you weren't satisfied they weren't satisfied but i feel that they're waiting mm, they're waiting for something Mm. Remember I said that if you guys had had some turmoil, they may have been waiting for um, maybe you to, I don't know, take the lead in the connection. Well, both of you are still, spiritually still. So it almost feels as Aries, whilst you've been working on yourself, the connection may have paused and either this person is waiting for you to reach out because I was channeling this person at one point, thought that they had lost you. Um, but you're both still, there's there's a bit of a pause or maybe whilst you were kind of doing you Aries, you kind of paused the connection. And this person is either waiting for you to take the lead to um, pick up the relationship. Okay, um, definitely thinking about you like when's Aries coming back maybe they're waiting for a restart a rebirth of the connection Ooh, thank you the Knight of Pentacles yeah I feel that for, oh, this card wanted to come out the four of swords so yeah I feel that whoever you are connecting with either they were slow to come forward with the knight of pentacles which is what i was saying but this person is solid this person is solid maybe in the same way that they are thinking about you you might be thinking about them M many of you you may have pulled back your energy whilst you were doing you so do you remember i was saying there might have been a bit of a breakup or a disconnect yeah um there's three swords here you were quite i feel that you noticed it you notice the disconnect or you notice this person was slow to come forward or they weren't very clear perhaps with their intentions. And many of you, you took some time out to really think about it, to dive deep. Yeah. Um, and I feel that that is what triggered you to go deep within your own self. So I was right. What I was saying that this person somehow triggered you to do some soul searching and so I feel as you have done the work on yourself you and this person it feels as if there's a restart that possibly might occur here because it's like this person is waiting for you 
to take the lead of something that perhaps was paused. Let's clarify. But yeah, that four of swords is definitely you thinking. Yeah. Um, processing. Not just the connection, but processing and connecting the dots of some of the entanglements that you get into when it comes to love. Maybe just entanglements in life in general. Yeah. And so now many of you with wisdom, uh, you are adapting, you're, you're adapting, you're evolving, you've learned, you've mastered something. Okay. Um, and I feel that you're being guided to apply compassion to this person because it feels as if they've given you time and space to do, do you. Yeah. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. So with the uh, Seven of Swords, okay, so the Strength card, I feel that this person, um, they felt weak for some reason, possibly whilst you were paused to do you, okay, that's possibly why they were slow or you may have perceived them as slow coming forward with, with what they wanted. Um, I feel that this person felt weak in comparison to you. The Seven of Swords, I mean, that is all about um, secrets, okay? With it coming um, out in reverse, I feel that this person, um, they wanted to commit to you or um, they, yeah, because they may be waiting. They may be waiting for you to want to commit to them. But I feel that they wanted to commit to you. They may have accepted that there were challenges either with them or feeling lack compared to you. Um, maybe this person was, and to be honest with you, Aries, that is something Aries gets a lot. Sometimes, um, you know, unbeknown to you because of your character and your attributes, um, you know, you you unintentionally may intimidate people. It feels as if this person was felt weak compared to you. It's almost like Aries, you tall, strong, a leader, successful, you know, kind of know who you are. That's what you portray. And that is very much an Aryan um, trait. You know, Aryans just know who they are. Um, and, and I feel that they felt weak, but they wanted to commit to you. Um, but they knew that they had challenges to maybe meet your expectations. You also could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart, which is interesting because if they've got Leo in their chart, both of you are very fiery signs. But it feels as if you might be just a little bit more advanced in life. OK, a bit more stable, you know, a bit more together, even though there was stuff that, you know, you've worked through yourself. But like I said, the stuff that you were working through, I feel was more of a spiritual battle rather than, you know, a human battle. So you may be, you know, very established or go about your life. If people had to describe you, they'll say, yeah, Aries is confident. They're, you know, they know their stuff, you know, they're reliable, you know, they'll fight the good fight. Um, but underneath, you know, behind closed doors, you were going through some spiritual battles of trying to understand yourself. Uh, this person, I feel that they definitely want to make wise choices with you. They may even see you as somebody that's quite wise, okay? Uh, I feel that, yeah, this is possibly why you see them as somebody that's slow to come forward because in comparison to you, it's kind of like, yeah, it's like you're both in different leagues, you know, it, or they, that's how they feel. So they, I feel that this person definitely wanted to make wise choices with you. I feel they wanted to commit to you. They do love you. Um, but yeah, the connection was put on pause for, for a reason. Also could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. So this person is very grounded. The two of coins, yeah, I feel that they may have gone back and forth 
with trying to take the connection off pause but wanted to make wise choices all of this came out they wanted to make wise choices it's almost like they need they kind of knew that they needed to give you time as you were thinking processing maybe about the connection maybe about just other stuff as well um but the, it's like they knew i mean they may have been asking for divine help they also may have been given divine wisdom to allow aries to just do aries and when the time is right then you know you will the connection will come off pause kind of almost in divine timing yeah, whatever was in the darkness has definitely been revealed to this person. I feel that this person is probably just as spiritual as you, um, Aries. Yeah, following their intuition. Um, maybe they felt in the dark why the connection was on pause, why things were um, still stagnant, stuck, not moving anywhere, waiting for you to take action. What's the next step? Uh, and I feel that they were given the divine wisdom to just wait because they were back and forth, whether or not to approach you or inquire or do something. But it almost feels as if they were guided to just be still, hence the hangman. You also could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancerian, or you could have Pisces and Cancer in your chart. Now, with the Justice card, I feel that many of you, if there was a breakup here or a slight pulling back energy, you definitely want to re reconcile. You want to take this connection off pause now. And to be honest with you, you're ready for it. You're, you're definitely ready. You may see this person as a soul contract. Some of you, there might be something that within you, you needed to balance out. Yeah, and that is this spiritual battle of within that I, I, you know, that I that I was picking up with your crowning wisdom message cards. So many of you have done the work. You've you're more balanced, more grounded, ready to to come out of this stagnant situation with regards to love. If there was a bit of a breakup, yes, it did hurt you, um, but you definitely want to reconcile. You want to balance things out. You also could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. With the Eight of Swords, uh, many of you were overthinking, why is this person taking so long to move forward? What's their intention? Definitely thinking about it with the Four of Swords and the Seven of um, Swords. Yeah, I, th I feel that this person cut you out or you cut them out um, or something was said that really got you thinking, okay? Um, but yeah, this person is definitely your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. And there's a communication. So communication is definitely being picked up um, this week with this person. And I feel it's part and parcel because you want to reconcile. You you kind of want to, you're, you're ready. You're ready to come off pause. Uh, many of you are definitely speaking your truth. You're coming out victorious after some deep, deep healing. Now, it could be deep healing because of something they said or if there was a breakup. But I feel that this is deep healing on a soul level of whatever these spiritual battles that you are fighting. Okay, um, you've mastered it for sure. And I feel that this person, uh, I feel that that King of Swords and the King of Cups is this one in the same person. I feel that this person does love you and you may know that. Yeah, and there's the change, the world card. So whatever cycle that has gone through with this person um, that they're waiting for to see what the next stage is, that's complete. And I feel it's because you have completed a cycle within you, within your spiritual journey OK, the world card could also represent that the two of you could be from different uh, countries, locations, states, cities. But there's a distance. It also could mean that there was a spiritual distance between the two of you. That was the entanglement. Yeah, many of you, there were some spiritual battles that you needed to deal with, you know, sort out, heal, get rid of karmic debts. And this feels, again, is all very, very spiritual. But it's complete. It's complete. You've come out victorious. It's complete. So it feels as if now you're ready for this love. You're ready to receive, give love because you've adapted. You've adapted who you are. Yeah, you've 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 kind of done some deep diving of yourself, which is good. It's good. It's good stuff. 
yeah and it may not be necessarily um adapting who you are but there may be things that you see differently that you will change accordingly yeah whereas you know if somebody's a bit slow to come forward you might get frustrated or like a little bit annoyed you might adapt your behavior to go a little bit deep and just try and see what's going on with them before you get frustrated and annoyed that kind of adaptability you also got taurus leo scorpio and aquarius popping up here and yeah with the five of cups i feel that many of you felt a bit of sadness felt a little bit of disappointment either in what they said or if there was a breakup but there in even though there isn't i mean there is a reconciliation card here but i'm not seeing outwardly that there was a breakup apart from the five of cups something disappointed you or upset you and it may have been to do with yourself yeah almost something said done that um you know, just you found yourself in this web of kind of almost like nonsense again. And again, it feels as if this person triggered you to go a little bit deep and just kind of like put things on pause and sort you out. And I feel that you've done that. It's completed. And it feels as if the connection is now ready to come off pause. What this person didn't know, I feel that you will talk about it with them. OK, you may just almost have a bit of a heart to heart, quite a quite a deep soul to soul conversation. And I feel that this person, uh, I feel, will welcome it. Definitely, because they definitely want to commit to you. There's no secret about that. Um, they definitely love you, but they recognize that the connection was on hold. Yeah, and I feel that divine wisdom guided them to just give you that space and time. The connection here with those two cups is definitely protected. Yeah, so this person, whoever they are, I would say they're kind of special. Very special. Um, it's almost like divine spirit universe used them in a very, very powerful way to help you um, just kind of, I don't know, take a look at yourself. Not necessarily all, you know what what you can change about you but actually going deep like soul deep you know why certain things don't pan out the way it pans out for some of you it could be you know karmic debts from ancestors bloodlines that have been carried over many of you have done the work yeah and you're breaking free breaking free generational curses generational chains breaking free from karmic relationships that unbeknown to you, you have carried bit by bit over the years. You've done the work, definitely. This person def definitely loves you. That it And it could have been something that they said that triggered you to go take that deep journey, soul journey, all right? We've also got Sagittarius, um, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Aries, obviously yourself, all popping out here, okay? Pisces and Cancer. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me thank you? Oh, look at that. Seduction, golden mirror and Cupid's arrow. So seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. I feel that the third party interference was some stuff that you needed to deal with in yourself, um, Aries. Um, and like I say, it's just took, taking a look at your life in general and just figuring out why certain things don't go your way. Many of you, that was a third party interference. That's cleared. And I feel that now uh, the connection is picking up it, or it's going to be picking up, coming out of pause and um, getting to know each other again. Golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, so with the golden mirror in here, for some of you, not all of you, uh, maybe you portrayed narcissistic behaviours or patterns and that was something that you needed to pay attention to. It also could be that this person portrayed that. And again, that may have been a trigger to like, why am I attracting this kind of person? But is it an illusion or, you know, is it something that 
you went deep, deep and, and asked for help to get clarity, how to fix it. Maybe this person felt one-sided, felt love that was one-sided or vice versa. But this is a golden mirror. So it, whatever it was, something was reflected back at you. And then Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. So I feel that Cupid's arrow is coming in to either bring this connection of pause if you are resonating with this person being quite narcissistic or love, love bombing you in some way and you questioned why you keep attracting this kind of person, many of you, there's a new love coming in. But I must admit, it does feel like there's a reconciliation or you and this person coming off pause because you understand them or you understand yourself a lot more. Well, you certainly understand yourself a lot more. But with Cupid's arrow, they're definitely, you're ready for love. Absolutely ready for love. Many of you might even, like, you know, start dating somebody else. Yeah, particularly if this person was a bit of a narcissist. You may see through that and you may just, you know, go in a different direction. I don't see that though. I do see you talking, um, but it could be a new person. Yeah, it's going to be different for all of you. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Aries. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.